everyone welcome to this podcast today we are having uday mishra sir with us who is working as a chief chief business officer at physics wala so today we are going to learn about so what is exactly doing a lot of questions a lot of talks with sir so hi sir welcome to this podcast please introduce yourself hi shambhavi thank you for calling me here and uh, it, it is a re- always pleasure to talk to you anytime yeah so yeah i'm working with physics wala as you already given my introductions all good what else you wanted to understand or know from me i'm always available please shoot okay sure sir sure so um i just thought to like i research about you a little bit and it is got to know that first of all you have done a bachelor's right and after that just you shifted on to the business side about the business administration and the management side so just wanted to know a little bit about your experience in both of those things and like how this change has been done and like why did you did this change about that okay so shambhavi uh, the thing is that my journey started from the defense background i joined indian air force uh, somewhere in 91 right and uh, there i served as a technical tradesman right and then uh, for 17 years i was with defense air force uh, then I, i mean you know once uh, after some times you you have to uh, you have to think that whether this is the thing where you wanted to continue or you have something more right so uh, i try to look for the career into corporate sectors right with my uh, it qualification because in my defense also i was working in the it department so with that qualification i tried to post my profiles and uh, in mahindra consulting which is known as a prisalcon they, uh, they they thought that i may be the right person for them and then from there my corporate career starts right so from there i touch upon in you know, a various roles um uh, I, i was working with the abb i worked with the oracle i worked with shell and then nike that was my last and then i joined this startup called ineron right so throughout the career this i mean in last 13 to 15 years uh, the this uh, ineron uh, was was the was the one where i got an opportunity to first time work with a startup so mr sudanshu and mr krish they are the they are the one of the best guy i found right and they were expanding their business right and i was also one of their one of the their students as well right so we already had a contact with them so we thought okay let's let's do it right with my some of my expertise and some of them we set up uh, ineron and we you know we started that so i joined as a role as a business so you know being a startup role whatever the role is given but you have to do a lot of lot many responsibilities right set up entire admin department hr department you know client connect investor relation everything set up so we did it i mean uh, jointly so that's how it is now then uh, last year december physics wala was trying to expand their business so they were not into a technical education so uh, they they thought that ineron could be the best bet and they acquire ineron now we are physics wala skills right so accordingly the roles and responsibilities have also been changed right so presently uh, i've taken care of entire placement of our students right whatever the students are getting uh, engaged enrolled all the database their t- their training aspects their you know how we can improve their uh, capabilities and how we can connect with the companies and offer the right talent to the right people right so that entire placement department is handled uh, i was taken care by me over here in this pw skills so that is in a nutshell i mean quickly if i can explain that what i'm doing so this is what this is what i'm doing is i agree so you even have a lot of experience uh, maybe from um, some different ways to game your business and then you jumped onto this so this while i think it's a long journey i guess yeah, yeah. but yeah i i really am sure that you might have done this very beautifully and very wonderfully so so you have been in this industry for a very long time so uh, you might have even like uh, seen how the layoffs which are being done right now by the companies a lot right so like because of this layoffs or this ai thing which is right now too much how is the industry changing and maybe what is your experience with those things what are your inputs over this right yes so shambhavi always the, this scenario will always be there you know when the computers came into the industry people say that the jobs will be lost of course it it did happen but again it reverted like i mean the more 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 number of jobs were created Right. So this is the same thing what I'm feeling from the AI, because AI, if you see, it's not a magic. Of course, you can say it's a magic, but it's not a magic. Definitely, human touch or human intervention will always be there. The only thing is that the traditional jobs, whatever we have, traditional jobs and repetitive kind of job where you need a, a more manpower, 
that job will be definitely are, are in a danger or they will be absolute. So apart from that, I don't see that much difference is going to be happening because it's, a, it's a, just a technical shift. I don't, I don't see uh, that AI is a, is a threat for a job in any way, but I feel that it is just a technical shift, right? And it is happening from the, from the age of Java, you know, earlier, those who don't, uh, don't have a Java, you know, knowledge, it was thinking that you cannot get a job anywhere. And suddenly Java shifted to .NET, then again, .NET to something else. So this technical shift is always happening. Now here, entire industry is trying to adopt the AI because, you know, first is a buzzword. Second thing, nobody wanted to go out of a business or they don't want to get behind from the progress of any of the kind of the companies, right? So whether they need it or don't need it, they have to adopt it, right? Now they're fine. Literally, most of I mean, some of our clients, they were asking that how we wanted to, how we should implement the AI. That also the questions are keep coming to us. We wanted to implement what, what we do, in which department we should be doing it and what is the benefit we are getting. So that is kind of a consulting role from the company. See, another business have come up, right? Consulting up for AI because client don't know and the consulting business will grow and it will grow exponentially. Let me tell you exponentially because everybody wanted to be a part of AI or they wanted to play with AI utilizing their capabilities one or other way, right? So the consulting business again, which in the huge number of people with the jobs will be created. Now, AI is what? Nothing. It's a technical thing. So, you know, you, you need to do the coding and all those things. Right? Again, you need a human people, right? So the thing is that what is my understanding is people should not be get afraid of anything. Adopt the technology, what, what is behind the AI. Always jobs will be there. The, the different kind of jobs will be there. That, that's there, right? Now, C, C++ plus plus jobs are very limited. Earlier, the C++ was a buzzword, right? So this is happening in the industry. So I'm, I'm pretty confident that job market is not going to hit by this AI. There will be change, shift changes. People get will get trained into one of the data science, data technology, data analytics, etc. in AI other technologies, and they will get a better, better job. That's how it is. Absolutely right, sir. Because if you're having the correct skills, then you're very much updated to the market. Exactly. Like AI or layoff, which can like teach you to any Exactly, exactly. That's how it is. Okay, so sir, even uh, like we exactly want to know what is the role of a program manager because uh, I had like got to know that you have worked as a program manager like in Nike, in Oracle, and even in the Air Force also. So I just wanted to know what is exactly a work of a program manager and what it completely looks like. Okay, that's a good question. I mean, people, those who are into that, they can understand. See, program manager, when you, you are working as a program manager, you need to understand technical aspect as well as the business as well. How the business is functioning and how your technical team will be integrating with them. Because if you see, there is, a, so that is where nowadays a new position has been created, which is called as engineering manager, which I never see. Five years back, I, I was never seeing that engineering manager is such a position. Engineering manager is a combination of program manager, a project manager, and a technical manager, right? Those who are into a business, right? So these two, two things are clubbed together. So to answer your question, program manager need to know what is the business. Plus, he should also be having a good control over the technology or, or the, you know, the, how to lead the team of a technical, how we need to create the activities. Or if they are working into Scrum or Agile in another environment, they should know how to write the stories what functionality you business is looking from the technical team is what is the program manager's main role now which is being taken over by engineering managers now if it is a very big department then engineering manager will create a different program managers again things will be same but ultimately director engineering director engineer engineering manager or engineering manager himself will be the responsible person for the program managers that's how it is so the shift is business plus technical both the things program managers should know uh, okay, because like uh, mostly in the mind of people, the program manager is something like we that person should know only about business. But yeah, you very clearly clarified that okay, technical plus business that makes a complete program. Right, manager. right. Earlier, program manager was uh, what I'm if I'm not wrong that multiple projects of if a, a single person was handling, then it was told as a he is handling a program where multiple projects are there. But now, in my understanding, with the oracular shell wherever I was. Right, that program manager should know the part of a business and the part of technical aspect both. Then only right. he'll... Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely right, sir. 
so uh, even you mentioned that you have been working with the uh, eye neuron right so uh, how has been your experience in working with eye neuron can you know how many years you have worked with eye neuron so i joined eye neuron in 2019 somewhere in october okay right? okay so three years around right so how around has it been all working with eye neuron okay, well. awesome see i always like challenges right working in a startup is a challenge you need you i mean you cannot say that hey i'm working on this role so i'll not be touching it day day and night you have to work you have to work because a lot of programs were initiated a lot of new initiatives were there you have to control the you have to uh, discuss with your investors you have to discuss with your stakeholders a lot of things are there so for me the more i'm busy the more i'm happy that's how it is so for me anirban journey was magnificent so far everything is good now with physics wala different kind of you know interaction different responsibilities different things are coming up again i'm definitely i'm enjoying yeah right absolutely sir absolutely wonderful like working with anirban and now just coming on to physics wala that might be a, a more new experience because right. uh, working in one phase and just shifting to the other and having more responsibilities and everything might be a very yeah. new experience also yeah yeah okay So, um, even so, like at physics, wala, what exactly do you do? See, so physics, wala, what I'm doing, as I told you, my okay. Let, I let me uh, let me explain in this way. If you are in ad tech, right? What is the most important thing you should be expecting from business side or from a student side or from stakeholder side? There are two things. You should have a quality education to your kids to your students. second thing which is very important how many students are getting placed when uh, when you are you know in your course are getting delivered that is the actual parameter correct that how many students are getting placed they are easily uh, getting a job to outside that that only define that how you are studying i mean what is your level of education so i am taking care of that particular learning department i am not saying learning department is a placement department so with me teams are there sitting here at noida everywhere so that's what what can i say more than that yes let me also tell you that we are going to organize a mega job fair on 5th and 6th of august where uh, more than 200 companies are joining and around 8 to 9000 students have been enrolled it's going to be mega job fair at noida right physics wala office i mean there is a school nearby so so just for your to for your audience please for the company side please join us and from the student side also please join us we have a fresher to you know uh, fresher to experienced all type of openings in a technical aspects we have and lot many offers are getting rolled out i mean i'm expecting more than 1000 job offers will be given on spot so, so that is my so journey that is, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay so that's going to be a very great opportunity for all the uh, companies okay. and even for the students to join yeah sure guys you can just go over and uh, for 5th and 6th you can just join this particular fair and get your jobs over there <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. So, um, even though you have learned, like worked over a lot of projects, and you have seen a lot of people working with over the projects because you are handling the placement team basically, so you have a lot of experience over the projects to be done yeah. either in the CS field or as in general also. So, how should be approach to a person to solve of the problems? Maybe if you take in general or in CS branch also, what should be the correct approach for solving a project? <sighs> so this question is very important uh, um, and i am not very sure whether i will be able to give you correct answer or not i think you are asking that when a person is doing engineering whether he should go for cs or any other branch is that the right question yeah absolutely you can let me know that also okay so if i am understanding this is the question i'm i'm not in a support of uh, any branch of engineering that it is going to help you to get a job because one thing what i'm thinking that getting a job is not a very big issue the thing is that what type of job you need what type of compensation you are looking for which location which uh, management what brand name you are looking so there are so many questions if you just wanted a job branch it doesn't matter anywhere right you can you yourself are engineering grade so you can understand that right if you are having a computer science and you wanted to adopt in a technical uh, education yes you have an edge if you go if you are going for an it company 
yes, you have an edge. But one thing very clearly I wanted to tell your audience and the students, those who are in, engineering is not the only qualification where you'll get a best of the job. I'm setting set aside one time MBS. I'm setting aside, I'm not talking about the MBS. But do you know that sales, marketing, digital marketing, there's so many beautiful other, uh, you know, areas are there and the salary is too, <laughs> too high. I mean, sometimes unbelievable, right? So people are just, you know, uh, I mean, I'm uh, being at tech. Again, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I should not be saying that that technical education is not a good. No, technical education is also good, but not everybody is not meant for technical, uh, you know, education. Just एक बोलता ना अपने को ओपन लोग भीड़ चाल में चले जा रहे हैं सबको इंजीनियरिंग करना है नहीं 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 that is I'm I'm dead against with that right ठीक है you are going for engineering fine you do it but at least you should find where best you can perform where you can best perform that means I mean sometimes it's very difficult because a civil engineer ultimately is going to the IT industry now that IT particular company will decide what role he is going to play they will train him and now they will be set up uh, for that particular job. So where is your civil engineering gone? Right? Nowadays, what I can see in Indian market, the core industry are performing very good. Mechanical engineer, aeronautical engineer, you know, civil engineers, a lot of openings are there, electrical engineers. Since I'm into that sector, I can see. I'm I'm getting a request because I'm not dealing it, but I'm getting requests. I need seven mechanical engineers. I'm, I want 10 electrical engineers. But we don't deal it, so we have to cut, to cut a sorry figure I mean, in front of them, our you know, esteemed clients. So to answer your question, yes, CS is a good, okay, fine. Your concept will be more clear if you wanted to be, make your career into a technical uh, side only. But what is happening after some time, they'll understand that it's an endless stuff, endless topic. You keep on learning, you keep on learning lifelong. Then you'll usually, I saw that after doing IIT, they are going for IAM. Then they're going for MS for somewhere, MIT or somewhere. And their initial education, what they want to do, they don't know. Now they are just going with the flow. So that's happening. So there is no right and wrong answer for that. Yes, but whatever, people also should think that what they wanted to do, accordingly, they should adopt their career. That's what I can say. We are here to help them for the, all the technical education. We are ready to help, right? We, whatever the school or colleges you are doing it, that is a different thing. Our training. Our training, what the training we are providing or what the syllabus we have, we will make you job ready. That is what our uh, motto. And we are also, our tagline is, Padhai karo kahi par, job milega yahi par. That is a physics wala's tagline. For <laughs> 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 job, we are here. We will make you job ready. That's how it is. Absolutely. Very right. The way to take the tagline is so beautiful. <laughs> it's very nice. So the last question from my side to you is, uh, you have worked in a product based company also, and even you have worked in the edtech also. So how has been your experience in both of these, uh, working in a product space and then shifting to the edtech? See, there are two different, uh, definitely two entirely different things. But the thing is that if you see my career, entire career, I have never uh, touched upon two simultaneous role in a two company. Every company, my role was different. Every company. Mm -hmm. Nike was a product company, but I was handling a data analytics come Entire data analytics team was there. Right? I was managing that as a program manager, right? Because that uh, India Center has only CDA. There is data analytics only. So what you will do? We are managing it. In uh, at tech, what we came with my experience of so uh, I mean you know previous so many companies and experience manpower handling from Indian Air Force. How to handle the manpower? How to motivate them? All those things. All those skills were deployed here in that tech, right? So. Creating a course, I'm not I'm not the one. I'm not the mentor. I'm not the teacher. I cannot create the course. I cannot teach you. Right. But to run that tech, there are so many other things out there. So from the background, what we are doing, administration, you know, HR motivations, connecting with the clients, connecting with the students, understanding them, their requirements, arranging their training, and all those so many things are there. Right. So that part I was handling it. So for me, the challenges are always good, as I told you. More the challenging environment, I'm more happy than. <laughs> <laughs> right, absolutely right. And one last advice which you want to give to all the students watching out this podcast over here. Yeah, so time is changing, technologies are changing. Be adoptive. Don't be reluctant. Be adoptive. What is in front of you? At least you understand that. 
you just simply cannot say no ah, i don't want to see that no you just cannot then you will be you will be lagging like anything right always be progressive adaptive and at least i admire you a lot at least learn something from you your journey <laughs> is also a you know highly motivated motivated journey i know you <laughs> so at least keep listening keep uh, listening to uh, shambhavi's podcast keep following her her journey itself is a highly motivational if you follow her that then your life will be good that much i can say <laughs> thank you thank you sir so exactly what is it like uh, what are the opportunity you have into front of you just grab that opportunity grab out that right okay. grab that opportunities okay. will take you anywhere yep absolutely so thank you thank you so much sir for giving me this half an hour of yours from the precious time of yours to come here and uh, let our students know about all the things and the different different roles thank you so much sir, for coming here thank you shambhavi for inviting me thank you very much and all the best to you thank you thanks a lot sir